Today on the caucus, Jeff Zeleny and Kate Zernike on the implications of Osama bin Laden's death on the U.S. political landscape. There's no question that the killing of Osama bin Laden changes the Obama presidency and changes the contours of the 2012 presidential campaign. In the 2008 campaign for the presidency, Barack Obama promised very clearly, we will kill Osama bin Laden. So this allows him to say that he's carried through on that promise, to have a foreign policy credit under his belt. One of the main criticisms so far of President Obama has been his indecisiveness in foreign policy. At least that's the case Republicans have been trying to make to voters as they begin their 2012 presidential campaigns. That argument may be a little more difficult to make right now. President Obama is able to argue that he oversaw this mission, authorized the mission, and carried it through from start to finish. There's no question that President Obama now has solidified his role as Commander-in-Chief, and that will be difficult for any Republican rival to question. Right now, his opponents in the 2012 uh, campaign are, are praising him and giving him credit for this, but I think it, in, you know, in a day or two we'll be hearing more about how perhaps credit goes to President Bush. We'll just have to see how that plays out. The political fallout will quickly turn to a policy debate over Afghanistan. Will President Obama withdraw troops as he plans this summer? Republican presidential candidates are already trying to distinguish their policies from him going forward on this and raising the point that none of this would have been possible without intelligence that came from the military prison in Guantanamo Bay, which President Obama wanted to close. The other thing that's really important to keep in mind is the importance of the economy, and everyone believes that this is the most important thing going into the 2012 campaign. It's important to remember that President Bush, the first President Bush, actually lost the lost election a year after he won the Persian Gulf War to great acclaim in 1992. But the presidential campaign of 2012 will still likely revolve around domestic issues like gas prices and food prices, and that is something that President Obama still has a major challenge going forward.